Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about another major snowstorm that is going to be sweeping through the eastern United States. We're also going to see a lot of severe weather potentially and some flooding to the south, along with a strong Arctic cold blast, which is actually going to allow for the snow to accumulate in the northeast, but it'll extend all the way through the upper Midwest, into the Great Lakes, and back into the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. So we'll be talking about all of that in today's video. Before I do up in this video, I would ask that you do subscribe if you like my videos and want to see more i'll be sure to drop a like on the video and share the video out uh, if you guys want other people to see this video as well i'll talk right into it let's take a look at our current day one categorical outlook and there was something wrong with the outlooks this morning so the thumbnail is a little bit off in the sense that some of our severe weather could be extending a little bit further north into, into kentucky than what the uh, thumbnail is saying uh, but we do have a marginal risk here throughout the uh, ozarks back into the tennessee and ohio valleys here so isolated severe storms are possible now within this we could see a couple tornadoes today and tonight across the region here. There's a 2% chance of seeing a tornado touchdown within 25 miles of a given location. We could also be looking at some isolated damaging wind and on the southern extent some isolated severe hail. Here would be our excessive rainfall risk to correspond with it here. As you can see we have a slight risk of excessive rainfall where we have a 10 to 20% chance of seeing excessive rainfall exceed flash flood guidance uh, within 25 miles of a given location throughout the Tennessee Valley and the Ozarks here including the Memphis and Nashville area. Uh, here would be our categorical severe weather outlook for tomorrow and tomorrow night. As you can see, we have an even more broad marginal risk here throughout the Gulf states into the uh, Tennessee Valley and then back into the East Coast and the uh, Mid-Atlantic states here, where we could be looking at, again, some isolated severe weather. For a good majority of this, especially the northern side of the risk, we could be looking at a couple tornadoes tomorrow and tomorrow night here throughout this green shade. We're going to see widespread but isolated damaging winds throughout this region here. Uh, so we're not expecting a huge severe weather event over the next couple days, but a widespread area where isolated severe weather weather is possible. And on the southern extent of this especially is where we also have a chance that we could be looking at uh, some isolated severe hail within these regions here. Uh, and then here would be our excessive rainfall outlook to correspond with it for tomorrow and tomorrow night. We have a marginal risk here. We have a uh, 5 to 10% chance of seeing excessive rainfall exceed flash flood guidance uh, within 25 miles of a given location through the northern Gulf states, through the Tennessee valleys, uh, back into the mid-Atlantic east coast, and then eventually all the way up past New York City uh, through Long Island into southern Connecticut here we have a chance that we could be looking at some marginal excessive rainfall that may lead to flash flooding so here will be a quick radar simulation um this is just kind of going to show what the storm's going to look like in that polar vortex moving through. So we'll gradually see this rain strengthen until it gets very heavy across the Gulf states and the Tennessee Valley here. You can see that trough in the central United States getting even stronger, uh, bring us some colder temperatures. We'll even see some snow mix in at this point here uh, by about... Um, by uh, Wednesday evening here, uh, followed by a uh, 1011 millibar low pressure system over uh, southwestern uh, Virginia at this time here. Eventually, the snow will get very heavy once we get to about midnight on Thursday morning here uh, throughout the uh, northeast states at this point. Still some cold air making its way into the system. Now, this could potentially be a nor'easter, and the low pressure system will strengthen, so gusty winds could also be a concern with this. You'll see this start to move kind of a weird uh, nor northeast pattern here, and this could be a problem because this could potentially potentially form into a nor'easter. That cold air will continue to move throughout the eastern United States before our snow eventually moves out of the area. Uh, so here would be our quantity of precipitation forecast for melted uh, precipitation here. And as you can see, we're going to see a lot of it for portions of the Gulf states and Tennessee Valley here. We're in these, uh, these red shades. We can see uh, amounts over two inches of rainfall here. Uh, maybe even some values throughout uh, these pink shades that we could be looking at over an inch as well. And then because some, this will be probably a wet snow uh, because for the most part we've seen mainly rain coming down. Uh, some of these factors may play into our actual snowfall totals, but in the northeast as well, we're going to see at least over an inch of melted precipitation uh, coming down in these regions here. So widespread heavy rainfall could be possible, but especially in the Gulf states in the Ohio and Tennessee valleys here, I believe especially. Here will be our uh, total accumulated freezing rain. It'll be pretty isolated. However, some areas, especially in the interior northeast, like northern Maine, could be looking at some values over a half of an inch of ice here. So this could definitely cause some pretty significant problems up there in the interior northeast, extending uh, into the uh, southern New York region as well here. And then finally, here would be our uh, total accumulated snowfall. As you can see, uh, we have some areas here in the interior northeast that could be seeing over six inches in these pink shades here. Within these 
red shades and above is where we could be looking at over a foot. We see that for a very, very thin area in northern Maine, uh, and then also some areas in upstate New York and central New York where some values may get close to or exceed a foot of snowfall. We'll see another area in the higher elevation regions in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, potentially Maryland as well, where some values will get uh, above five or six inches here. So snowfall uh, could be a concern. Uh, where we're seeing over 10 inches, uh, likely in these darker uh, pink shades here, is really where it's a major snowstorm once you start to see over 10 inches of snowfall. Um, and then we're just going to take a quick look at our polar vortex day by day here. So here it would be uh, by today. And as you can see, uh, we're going to see some cold temperatures in the north central United States here. But day by day, this is all by 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, you'll start to see these temperatures gradually get lower and lower. And then eventually it will reach its peak uh, trough width here. Uh, at least into the, the uh, United States at this point on Thursday, where many temperatures in the eastern United States will see uh, around freezing, maybe even below freezing in many spots as well, especially in the interior northeast and the higher elevation regions. Uh, it gets very, very strong with temperatures under 20 degrees by the time we reach Friday, and then eventually this will move off, and by the time Sunday rolls in, uh, this cold blast will move out of the area, and fortunately you can see a warm blast in the central United States that will extend eastward and give a relief for these cold temperatures, and everything will be okay. Okay, um, so that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and be sure that if you do subscribe that you turn those post notifications on so that you won't miss an upload when I upload for you guys. Uh, if you guys also want other people to see this video out, uh, be sure to drop a like on the video and share this video out. It really helps so that I can get other people to see it as well. Uh, but until the next video or live stream, stay safe and we'll talk to you guys back here next time.